was trying to save time Talking to the voices in my head that make me think twice Telling me it doesn't mean it's wrong Because it feels right How crazy is that? How crazy oh, is man. that? All right, bro, listen to this. So we're back on the NF journey. That last song, Let You Down. I think, I think I've think i had some time to think about it. I think it's my favourite NF song. It's my favourite song. It's such a good song. It was man. so good, guys. Uh, brother, it's been we in my head it. since. Yeah, yeah. You keep singing it on like random videos. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, this really, isn't it anymore. It's a completely different video. I'm, I'm like, this is it. K-pop. <laughs> why, are you, <laughs> why are you singing Let You Down? Um, but yeah. If you guys haven't checked it out, that's a must have to check out. That must twist have to check must, out. Must must check out. English. <laughs> but the twist at the end really messed with our minds. Like we had to sit there for a bit and be yeah. like, were we were we so stupid in that video or did that twist catch out everyone? So if it Well we don't actually out, know yet. Yeah, we, we don't know. We don't know. We haven't yet. released it yet. But if it caught you guys out, put it in the comment as in the comments as well. We'd like to see how, how many of you are, of you were in the same boat. My English today is not Englishing. So. <laughs> <laughs> but we're back on the Perception album uh, with the next song. song. <laughs> My that's God, what's going jazz. on? That's actually What's jazz. going on? All right. It's NF If You Want Love. Yeah. Um, so I think it's best that you, Are you, sure you it's take not over. If You Want Live? It's If You Want Love, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. I'm so this one actually it. has a YouTube video as well. Yeah. So we're going to jump straight into that. And it looks like we're jumping straight into the action. Actually, no, I need to go back a bit. Uh, yeah I mean that looks like childbirth yeah so let's go let's go I just need some time I'm trying to think straight what this is very different I'm here for it I like it this is a I mean, whole different voice, isn't it? It's whole different. We haven't heard this before. This is completely new from yeah. from him. But I wonder if he um, had his kid around here, because he mentioned in the Hope album that he has a, a kid, son. yeah, a son that's not sitting by the window, etc. I wonder if he was born five years ago when this came out. Yeah, could be. Could be based on real life experiences. Mm. If you're right about that, that's good that's really good well he said Maybe your english is not on point but your deduction <laughs> skills might be really good thing yeah but he did say um if you don't want to listen to my like personal issues then don't read my diary read my diary yeah, yeah so this could be part of it i just need some time i'm trying to think straight i just need a moment in my own space ask me how i'm doing i say okay yeah, but ain't that what we all say? Sometimes I think back to the old days. In a point, I really don't want to break this because I'm really enjoying this. But I hope he doesn't switch to the rapping. For this you want song. a whole song like this? I would love a whole song like yeah, this. Yeah, this is nice. Man. I would love He's a whole song. Such a good singer, like, like underrated singer. But if you, even if he does, that's fine. But I would love this. I would keep listening if it's like this. Sometimes I think, I think he will. I think that's going to be rap. In a I can sense it. It's interesting that he said that if you want love he has to go, go through, through the pain. pain and then he's talking he literally showed childbirth at the beginning so like physically the going pain through the of pain of childbirth and then the love that follows in all that love yeah good 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 spot if you want love you go after love out of change if you want tracks you go have to get some away oh man if you reminds me of um, How to Love it does yeah a little way How to Love yeah very similar how to vibe. Love. it's yeah, the same yeah. way just stops it as well it's, yeah you're right good catch I love that with the trust thing if you want to trust you, you have, have to give, to give some, some away. away bro I rate that I keep thinking about a it a lot of people actually I know as well with friends from back in the day they one of the things they told me is like they find it hard to trust mm. which actually means that they never Give people the give opportunity. People the opportunity. 
they never give any <laughs> yeah it's a disease going around <laughs> that's it there's some in that water yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't give people the opportunity to trust because they never give some of their way like why would you yeah yeah that's i think that's actually a thing it, you have to learn to give some of your trust. you have to be like in a vulnerable if you sometimes you have trust. to put yourself in a vulnerable position and trust someone else and people don't want to do that especially if they have past experiences exactly where someone's especially if trust. they have that but trust is a re- one of those things it's really hard to build up but really easy to lose yeah you can build up trust well, you could say years. the same you could say the same about love mm. that's true too but yeah you're no, right. i would say you with love, it's a little bit more gradual was, to lose uh, this was a song by dave Mm-hmm. actually he said that about love where you saying this about trust he said uh, it's only years to build and in a moment you, you can lose it mm-hmm. but yeah you're right trust takes so long to build up and one mistake could break you yeah yeah it's a very fragile thing isn't it if you want love if you so oh. true I used to think that too I used to literally oh, be there like man. I can't I wait that. to be an I adult like I can't wait to the day do you know one of the things Bro, for I me, see that in kids nowadays as well like in like siblings and cousins like this they want to grow up they want to grow up they want to do Bro. be a kid for a longer man like, that's what I that's what the adults told us to he's literally there. about to go into that fact later he's gonna say that now it's moving so fast yeah probably. yeah exactly but like for me one of the main things this might be stupid but one of the things when I was a kid I couldn't wait for because I felt like this was something only adults do is go to like a cash machine and get money out with a card stupid that was like a thing, stupid yeah. thing that I was looking forward to so much and now I'm like, what's the point? Like, we don't even do that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's all contactless, bro. I know, but, but I still had like 10 years where I had to do it. But still, yeah. it, it's dumb things like that that we look forward to and then we don't appreciate what we actually had as a kid. At the time, do you like know what? The freedom, actually, the that actually, a lot of kids nowadays may not have that. Where you can just go out and play in the streets, play in the streets, play in the park, get injured, play some football, yeah. Hit your knees, get all these scra- uh, scruffs and yeah. uh, cuts, but you're enjoying it. Like those are some of my fondest memories where I'm just trying to learn how to ride a bicycle yeah. in a park, and I've like literally every other day I've come back with a new injury. But I look back, and those were good times. Those are the good times, yeah. Yeah, you wish but, you could go uh, back, right? Where it says, uh, where NF says it's moving so slow, I think that is a perception of time and how much you lived. I think there's a science theory behind it. There is, there but is, I think yeah. there's also this mental side where you're doing something new every day. That when you actually get older and you're working your days actually become very routine and every day is the same mm. which means that you're not making new memories you're not going through new experiences which feels like time's just it's just all one it's just a blur yeah, it's just yeah, a blur yeah. whereas with as a kid as you're growing up you have so many new things that you're learning and memories and experiences and people you meet there's so much information that's happening it feels like time's going slow yeah yeah so, do you uh, know what this is really weird but it reminds me of you know um, the show Friends yeah so like uh, I think it was Rachel's mom in the show. <laughs> really, really rogue reference. Okay. She was like, oh, I felt like my life has just been... Like, you know when you drive on a motorway or like a highway and you get home, but you don't actually remember driving? That's yeah. what she said her life felt like. And I rem- that's This my, is very that's, similar like, to that. That's actually crazy. This is very, yeah. I mean, it's something super deep that came from friends. Yeah. But it's it's just, yeah, that's the it contrast. Makes sense. That's yeah. the contrast between what a kid thinks mm. and what an adult thinks that they like when they look back on their life and like it was just a blur. But a kid who's probably out there for the first time going through all those roads, every road's got something new there. Yeah, like, oh, I need to take a right but turn. The I need motorway to stop is just one straight line, there's nothing new happening. It's the same signs coming up every day, and that's why it may feel like you're missing a lot mm. of it. And you, yeah, that's yeah. Look out the window on my bus ride I thought the world was so small on my close ties I've always tried to control it In the end that's what controls me Damn. Maybe that's why I'm controlling I wish somebody would have told me If you want love You might that be was a bar. You might be getting You might be getting <laughs> I might be getting right? my wish bro Yeah your whole song in the uh, end, that's what controls him. But he's trying to control everything, and uh, and that's, that's why, why he's, he's controlling. controlling. 
But he was saying as well, like when he's on the bus and he's like looking out the window at the small world with his eyes closed. Oh, eyes closed. Uh, but he's looking out, but he's also got his eyes closed, like a bit of a um, what is it, an oxymoron? Mm. But oh shit, that English coming back. I know. I had a sip of the water and it just came flooding back. But um, that's so true as well because I used to literally think the world was like the supermarket, me going to school, the park that is like local to my house, and then you grow up and you start travelling and stuff, and, and you realise a huge world. so much is happening. Do you think that's parallel. a reference? That's what he's referring to? It's just from my own personal, mm. like, how I'm related to it. Like, that's how I used to think. It's this park, the supermarket. But you know, back then, when travel wasn't a big thing, you didn't have cars, you, didn't, you couldn't go out and go to different countries. Your whole life, was that for our great-grandparents even, was that one small town. Mm. And you walked everywhere and you know every single person. And the problem now you go have, the, you have access to so many people, countries, languages. Yeah. It doesn't, I think you might even feel like you're not part of a society sometimes. anymore. Yeah. Because you don't have a close knit community because everyone's constantly moving houses. There's new people coming. You don't have the neighborhood that you had back then. That's true. Yeah. yeah. And uh, your you social circle doesn't exist anymore apart from digital social circle. But then people are living a whole different lives in different countries. Yeah. And that wasn't the case back then. I think I'm going to touch on another point like that's to do with the media, just quickly, which is me and my friend at work were actually talking about this. We're like, the world seems like such a worse place because you hear about all these like bad things that happen on the other side of the world that back in the day you wouldn't have had, a, have had access to. Ooh, so you, you start thinking about the world as like, oh, we live in this horrible place, etc., but it's all these things that are happening in isolation and all of these things. Well, think about parts. it this way. This is very, this actually makes sense because if you think about it, our town mm. that we live in, when's the last time something bad happened to, to that town? Or like, oh, I don't even remember. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Because it's literally one small dot in, in a, a whole big In world. a big moving world, yeah. But if you have all this knowledge and the internet, you'll hear all this stuff, all these things happening and a lot of that will be negative because media loves negativity mm -hmm. that might not be really something that you need to be concerned about yeah the reality like is different from what you hear by looking at like, could the also rest be of the world yeah. and stuff like because I always hear sometimes people ask me like oh you live in London you just they assume like I just walk outside so you get, people get stabbed like every five minutes because that's how the media portrays it when, you, when yeah. you're when you're in other countries and stuff but I've never seen any I mean I've seen like aftermath of stuff like that a few times but I don't see that regularly mm. it's not as like dangerous as people like to portray it is but yeah. if you're not from here you would just that's yeah. all you hear about it and that's the only opinion you have from it mm. but yeah man I mean look he's not saying much and look at the conversations we're having I and think uh, guys <laughs> apologies because we actually drag you out the Go, conversation. we're going on a bit of a tangent that's I think that's we enjoyed that's the whole premise of this why this started because yeah, we just yeah. listen to songs and we talk about shit and sometimes unrelated shit but actually we go on a tangent it actually that's what it's interesting conversation I think that's why I, I enjoy music because it helps co conversations but and interestingly topics. bringing it back to NF we have done a lot of reactions today how many of them have we had these conversations on not many pretty much only the None. NF songs pretty yeah, much yeah. right the last like one like most of them let you down so where we were analysing the song more but this is more even because we're talking about st stuff that's not really related mm. Look, he's talking about love but he's yeah, it's, it's a perspective. It's a perspective the of perspective, a kid, yeah. etc., that like sparked this conversation. But he's just touching on these things in like one or two lines, and it just sparks so much like thought. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for staying yeah, with us. Uh, if you it. did stay with you us, you might even need to add skip marks now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, put a chapter in there. Be like <laughs> global outlook. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I missed that. Oh, did you? 
The older I get, I feel like I'm always trying to save time Talking to the voices in my head that make me think twice Telling me it doesn't mean it's wrong Because it feels right How crazy is that? How crazy oh, is man. that? So all of that. these like responsibilities that you're putting pushing away Because you're like, you I'm trying to save twice. time yeah, yeah. And like you, when you're pushing them away You think to yourself, oh maybe Maybe I should spend a little bit more time with my mom or my kids oh, yeah. or like all of this kind of stuff. But then you're like, no, it's okay. And you convince yourself that it's okay to like not do those things. Do you incredible, know what's do you know what's something really interesting that actually my brother told me um, randomly? And I think I haven't forgotten it since that day. I'm trying to see where this is going. Because I was actually <laughs> going towards that path in a way. Not directly, but that was something that it was in my head where I was trying to think about the future and trying to see like where I need to save money, how I need to do this, where I need to make sacrifices. And my brother told me that he went out to this dinner with a group of people and there's this one guy who never ordered food and he always ordered starters and like tiny amounts of food and just ate like salad and, and everyone else was enjoying it. And his reason was basically, I need to save money, I need to save money, I need to do this, I need to buy this. And he said that it always seemed like such a sad thing to him because for the, for the reason you also planning ahead and doing trying all that but you're missing out on all the good times and good stuff that's happening in your life now and he said that I know that that guy will go down in the future and say I wish I actually had fun and I wish I actually enjoyed my time rather than trying to just think about oh, I can't enjoy this I can't have this because of what I want to do in the future but actually, when you're, in the, when you're in that future, whether you've achieved that goal or not, you will go back and say, I wish I actually did that. And I wish I actually enjoyed that moment. Yeah, yeah. So I try to actually, I actually really uh, enjoyed that conversation. And I think since then, what I was a bit more carefree, where if I enjoy something and I know that this is something my heart wants to do and my brain says no, I try to listen to my heart a bit more mm. and actually enjoy that moment, regardless yeah, yeah. of what might happen. I know that if it's, especially if it's a new finals, I'll make it back. But I will make, make back the memories and the good times. Yeah, yeah. What I will say to that, though, yeah. I respect him for still going out and sharing that with other people. Like, he's yes. still there. He's enjoying still there. The company. Yes. There's some people who would just swear off that whole event mm-hmm. and just go home and, and be... But there's a whole documentary about these people who just live in those... They just live to watch... Just, they like yeah, yeah, they're like super extreme cheapskates. Yeah, yeah, they're cheapskates, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Which is like, oh, it doesn't seem like a good life. It's crazy. But it's not a place to judge. He's telling him trying to save time Talking to the voices in my head that make me think twice Telling me it doesn't mean it's wrong because it feels right I'm scared that one day I'll wake up and wonder where the time go Talk about the past like it's the present while I rock slow I sit in the living room and laugh with kids of my own If you want love, you will have to go through the pressure that told me. If you want love, you will have to learn how to change. I wish somebody would have told me. If you want trust, you will have to get some way. You will have to get it up. If you want love, you want love. If you I think this was again one of my favorite songs. This is literally it's really favorites. good. It's, it's I'm really literally gonna good. add it to my playlist now this because is so good. Oh this is God. the kind of songs I actually really enjoy. Yeah, yeah. And I love the fact that he did sung the whole do way that through. rapping because I knew it would have been so much more um, significant if he didn't do that, and it shows uh, yeah, because yeah. it's yeah uh, that was great. Like I've got no words for it. Man, going back to a conversation of like putting pushing like your responsibilities away trying to save time we were actually talking about that even with this uh with this whole ride and rhyme sort of channel etc where we're like we always want to try and find time to record so that we can have content for you guys and we know the importance of like trying to grow you guys as a community and keeping up the momentum but then what are we sacrificing sometimes so i know like 
you have like your limited time that you can spend with your family on on the one day and the weekend mm. uh, likewise for me there's only so much time i can spend so with, time, so with my time girlfriend world, yeah. or with my mom or whoever i want to choose to spend my time with so we have to try and like find a balance which i think yeah. is why we try and do a lot of these in bulk so that we can just put one day aside for this and still try and have those other moments with with other people and i think what you guys uh I'll be honest like I did enjoy a lot of this but I never thought we'd be that regular in posting content Yeah, and I yeah. think a lot of that became because you guys have shown us so much love through those videos yeah, yeah. which makes me want to actively be like oh, I think we need to do more because they might be they're expecting it and we want to keep up the quality I think it's rather than and like also, expecting and it and we actually enjoy it as well we're um, enjoying it but also but, yeah. it's not expecting it I, I if they were it's, like it's just oh where's the video where's the video yeah. I'll be a bit more like okay well I, maybe I don't want to mm. like follow this as much, but it's more the like the nice comments, the comments. That's they're what like yeah, yeah. They're, the love that we yeah, yeah. How much knowing how much other people enjoy this, even if it gives like five minutes of it happiness, makes you want to do it. You make more, yeah. you want to do it because I think it's like a your chance to have like a positive impact on someone's life, even if it's for five minutes. Even if it's maybe they forget minutes. about this stress that they have about paying yeah. their bills or or anything like Whatever that. Even if it takes it away yeah. for a couple of minutes, that's that's worth it so that's one of the reasons why we do this but it's also a balancing act from our perspective because we want to enjoy the time we have with the loved ones and you're all right that. you're right so love the song man i honestly, <laughs> yeah, love, yeah. The song. I honestly love the song um, i love yeah. that at the end where he's like i'm gonna sit down with my kids and tell them that if you want to love you have to go through the pain because yeah. he figured that he's like no one told me and then at the end he's like i'm gonna tell my kids mm. so he's like transferring yeah. that information and his life experiences to his kids which really? is great Top song, top song. Yeah, yeah. really Highly good. Really and good. honestly, this album has been blowing me away. Yeah, I think I, f- I forgot. I think it's eight for eight for me so Probably, far. I forgot how many tracks it could be eight. Now, in, yeah, but it's honestly blowing me yeah, away. Every song, song has been great. Yeah. Let's see what's next. Let's see what's next. <laughs>